Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing this. Okay, so for this project, I would need... Uh, I'm gonna use this Vernat blanket. Drawn in the color... Light Teal. Light teal, and then I'm gonna use my um, 26 peg loom, and we're gonna need our um, hook. So, this is gonna be a uh, 3 to 6 month sweater, section 0 to 3 month baby vest. And I am gonna start with the uh, um, with a normal cast on and the whole pattern is gonna be um, e-wrap because I want it to be easy okay so okay I put it in here and then I keep doing my normal cast on And I'm not gonna um, do the whole um, the whole round. I'm just gonna use I use 13 um, 13 packs. Okay. So we push them down. We push them down, and then. And then I'm not gonna wrap in the last one again, but I'm gonna go back like this. Okay, and then once I get to the end, just with my hook, I'm gonna knead off. Then I'm gonna pass a little tail. Okay, so I just, I'm gonna knead off, and that's what basically um, what I'm gonna be doing until I get my desired length. So this part is gonna be the the back. So once we finish with the back, we're gonna do the two fronts. That is gonna be the same pattern, just. Um, we're gonna wrap half of the pegs that we did in here. Okay, so if we remember, I didn't wrap uh, my last loop that it was this one when I went um, back. So we're gonna do the same thing with uh, our first peg that is gonna be this one. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna wrap this one, but I am gonna wrap this one. So basically every time that we're gonna start a new row, we're not gonna wrap the first spec. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna have a better H. Okay, so and we keep wrapping. So I'm gonna finish my, um this the back side and then I'm gonna do the two fronts and then I come back with you guys and to tell you um, how many pegs I used or how long um, my sweater is gonna be okay so I just finished here my back um, the part that is gonna be my back and uh, it measures about eight and a half inches and if you're wondering why it looks like too narrow in here is because once I finish my three pieces I am gonna crochet um, the sides like probably make like two or three rows of a single crochet and if you don't crochet you can 
just add like more picks you can add maybe two one on each side and uh, yeah so okay now we're gonna remove it out of the <clears throat> out of the loom And for that, I'm gonna have a tail. Just gonna put it around it like this so I can know so sell how long I need my tail to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut about this much. And then I'm gonna use my thread needle. And then I'm gonna go through all the loops and then remove and then again and we keep doing that until we remove all of them. Okay, so here's my piece already. And don't worry about this. Um, this is gonna look cleaner once um, I finish my <coughs> the, the three pieces and I'm start doing the finger crochet all around. Okay, so this is my back piece. Now I'm gonna start with the two front pieces which for the back side I I wrapped I wrapped 13 picks so we're gonna do the half of that which is gonna come out to 6.5 but what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna um, put a 6 I'm gonna to be six picks and then like I said I'm gonna single crochet all around so it's gonna be a little bit bigger and like I said if you don't know how to crochet or or if you don't want to add crochet to it just um, add more picks okay so we're gonna do the same thing gonna do my slip knot wrap six so there's one two, three, four, five, six, okay, six, and then I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna do the same thing in the other one, I'm not gonna wrap the first one, I'm gonna go to the second one, and if you guys remember, we're doing that, so we can have a clean clean edge like this one if you can tell the edge is pretty clean and it looks pretty so that's what we want okay so we keep knitting off and we just do the same length that we did with the back side okay so I'm gonna finish my two um, my two pieces and then I come back with you guys Okay, so I just finished here my two um, pieces. Okay, so now I am going to single crochet in these edges right there, in this one, this side, and in the back side, in these two sides, okay? And for that, I'm gonna use my six millimeter crochet hook and like I said, if you don't crochet or if you don't want to um, crochet, just add more pegs when you're doing your pieces. Okay, so I'm going to insert my crochet hook right here. And I'm going to get my 
join. Then I'm gonna pass it over. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm gonna go all the way through the edge. And like I said, I'm gonna do a single crochet. So we keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until I get right here and then I come back with you guys. Okay, so I did two rows after I got here, I just chained one and then I kept a single crochet all the way here. So now if we can see the difference between the one that we just laminated and then the one that I added a um, single crochet, so it looks now bigger. So now, um, I am going to cut a tail and then I'm going to fast enough. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing to this side and to the back side. And remember, for this one, it's just going to be this side right here. And for the back side, we're going to do it for this side and this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that and then I see you back here. Okay, so I just finished here my three pieces. And like I said, I just single crocheted in the front pieces in this side and not in the inside. So as you can see, I have like a, this gap right here. Well, I want to add a zipper. If you want to use just buttons, just um, single crochet this side also, so you can put your buttons in there. So now I am gonna put um, my sweater together now. I'm gonna sew these parts right here, and I'm gonna leave this cup um, gap right here, this hole for um, for the 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 arms. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna sew these two um, parts together, and then after I do that, I come back so I, we can start like making the edge all the way, and then the, to start making the, the like the part of the neck. And also, I'm gonna sew together these two sides right here, so everything is attached. So let's go ahead and do that and then I come back. Okay, I just finished here my best. I put it all together and then I left like these little corners to point to look like a little bit bigger in there, like longer. So now we're, I'm gonna do the neck part and I'm gonna do that with my crochet hook. I'm gonna crochet all the way around that it will be from here to here until I get my desired length. If you don't know how to crochet or if you don't want to um, do it with a crochet, you can with a loom just make like a strip and then just make it as big as you want and then just sew it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I come back. Okay, so I just finished doing the neck part and then after I finished that I um, I single crochet in all the edge so now what I need to do is uh, put the zipper on but before I put the zipper on I do want to add like a cute design to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make a flower with this yarn with the peaches and cream. Okay, so this is the little flower that I'm gonna add to my best, and I'm gonna put it right here. 
So that's going to be my design and then I just add the zipper and we're done. Okay, so I just finished here my baby vest. I already add the zipper and this is how it looks like. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I see you next time.